Well, as expected, it's been a pretty nice afternoon here. And using our first alert weather app, look at the afternoon going into the evening. Some patchy rain comes in and the breeze picks up a little bit. But even by the midnight hour, you may think, Ah, is it really going to get that windy? And it will, but not till the overnight hours. And we're looking at 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. for the strongest wind gusts here across the area. Let's have a quick little look at this again. Here's 4 a.m. And the wind at this time will be strongest in our southeastern and southern counties, places like Willard and Tiffin across through Faustoria, Findlay, and down in Ottawa, Upper Sandusky, Arlington. You're going to feel the strong winds there. And then from that point through 7 a.m., the wind will also crank up here across the Toledo area. It's going to happen like that. It's going to be very quick. So you can see this is a uh, not only unusual timing, but also very touchy forecast across all the counties in our area. And for more on that, let's bring in Ryan Weekman here. He's been looking closely at this one. You put that very nicely, Robert. I said it's just a strange system. It, it is. is, right? Yes, it's without a doubt. Yeah, just because of what you mentioned there, the timing of this, typically when we get these big wind events, it happens during the afternoon, right? When things have warmed up and you get the winds higher up coming on down. We've seen that a bunch over the last few years. Look at this map here. This is some of our unique technology that we have here. At 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, right in the heart of what Robert was talking about for the windiest time frame here, we expect the low pressure to be sitting just off to the west of Toledo. So look at the winds down here by Finley and Willard and over towards Faustoria and down towards Sandusky. Those are going to be cranking really good, right? Let's zoom in right where this area of low pressure is, right over Bryan and Williams County. It could be almost completely calm for the winds. In many respects, this is almost like a little bit of a hurricane coming overhead. The eye of the hurricane, there's almost no winds inside, right? But you get just outside of it, and the winds are really strong. This low pressure is going to move, and as it does, those winds are going to kind of shift around for us. So, uh, Robert, this is, this is not something that we see every year for mm. sure, but uh, it's going to be interesting. Those winds are out of the south, and then when that low moves by in the morning, it's going to shift right out of the west. It sure is. That's very well put. And, of course, our uh, meteorologist, John Birchfield, is going to be in starting at 430 tomorrow morning. So if you do wake up and, you're, and you step out, outside and say there isn't much wind here. Just tune in and you'll see uh, exactly when it's going to pick up as he'll be tracking that low pressure area through. This you're looking at right here is today and it's the severe weather outlook with high risk of tornadoes and there have been numerous tornadoes across Alabama and the severe weather is also moving east into parts of the Carolinas. Very, very heavy rains and super bad uh, springtime storms heading into northwest Georgia as well. We zoom all the way up here and there's some beneficial rain coming in overhead. But again, it's very spotty and a decent amount of rain is falling right now over Seneca County. It's coming up through Wyandotte County and heading up toward Fremont and Port Clinton. If you've been very dry up here into Ottawa County, you're going to pick up a little bit of rain here very soon. And in our first alert hour by hour forecast, spotty rain will continue over the next several hours. Maybe even a rumble of thunder possible tonight and a couple heavier downpours that will scoot through. Then we get into the wind machine aspect of this storm system. I stop the clock at 3 a.m. Between then and 7 a.m. getting ready. See that low Ryan was talking about? There it is right over top of Hillsdale and Lenaway counties at 5 a.m. Heading up into southeast lower Michigan. The wind here will be shifting, gusting very, very strong at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And then it will decrease in intensity as Friday wears on. By the afternoon, it'll just be a plain breezy day. So the focus is first thing in the morning tomorrow. Tonight, a high wind watch and high wind warning is in effect across our area. Rain and thunder with a low of 42. And then tomorrow, after high winds early in the day, partly sunny, a breezy afternoon and 54. In our extended forecast, the thing about the weekend here is rain is likely to come through the area, but it's probably going to be during the overnight hours. So actually, Saturday and Sunday both look like nice days and they'll offer you a little variety. Saturday's high 65 and Sunday's high 55. Then next week, Tuesday, I think we could easily hit 70 degrees and we'll look way out toward the end of our 10-day forecast. There are some signs of what will feel almost early summer-like for the second weekend of our 10-day forecast.